Hey, Scott here. In this episode of In the Shop with Scott, I get the fiberglass on the mini canoe, finish up that cutting board from the other day, and that's about it. So enjoy the video. To start the week off, I got the cutting board out of clamps and run through the planer to get an even thickness. Then using my template, I traced on the handle design. With the quarter inch blade set up on the bandsaw, I could cut this rough shape out. I used the belt sander to smooth out any saw marks that were left behind and then rounded over all the corners. Then jumped over to the drill press to cut out the hole for the handle. Last but not least, I rounded over the edges of the board with a quarter inch round over bit. I mixed up some wood glue and sawdust to fill in any gaps that were left from planking the canoe. While the glue was drying, I put the 1 8 inch bandsaw blade on that I ordered and cut out another reindeer. It's been a couple weeks, so it's fun to do this again. With the glue now dry, I turned my attention back to smoothing out the mini canoe, first using my scraper and then working sandpaper 80 grit up to uh, 220. Before I could start the fiberglass, I needed to give a good wipe down with alcohol. With that dry, I could lay on the piece of fiberglass I cut and then smooth that out with a paintbrush. I pumped out some Total Boat Epoxy to mix up to wet down the fiberglass cloth. This is the same stuff I used on the full-size canoe. With the epoxy thoroughly mixed, I could now start applying and wetting down the cloth. It's always really cool to see how the cloth disappears. For this project, I used a much lighter weight cloth. This is an ounce and a half instead of the six ounce that I use on the full size canoe. It really doesn't need to hold any weight. I just wanted to have a good shape to the canoe and something that I could sand out uh, for a nice smooth finish. I just continued working all the way around applying the epoxy to saturate the cloth. With the epoxy setting up, I could come back and squeegee off the excess. This was probably the one step that was a little tougher on the mini canoe than on the larger canoe. With that first coat now tack free, I could add a second coat to fill in any of the weave or dry spots. And then we would do the same squeegeeing process on this as well. As always, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I worked on this week and watched the color come to life on this mini canoe and the fiberglass process. 